when getting into FPV, one of the things that is a little bit confusing is what you do with all the airside components. So what I thought I would do is put a little video together to explain what they are, how they work and how you fit them all together so that you can add them to your model. So what we'll do is we'll go through the components one by one so you can see what they are. First thing we're going to talk about is this thing. This is a fat shark uh, transmitter but you can get them from Boss Cam and lots of other people do different variants. This is a 5.8 gigs of Urgen. Uh, has an aerial connection at one end which we'll come on to in a minute and then has a number of connections at the bottom. But the plugs that come in the kit tend to be pretty easy to put together. Second thing we'll talk about is the small camera. Now this is one that has a little lens cover um, and it's very straightforward, it only has one little connector at the back. Then you have uh, the aerial that plugs onto the transmitter. This is what's called a whip aerial. Uh, these aren't great for long range and you'll tend to find in lots of videos they'll replace these or upgrade them with uh, polarized circular antennas and they're the ones that look like little mushrooms. The final part of the kit is this, which is the power adapter, so that you can power all this together. So what we'll do is we'll actually plug all these bits and pieces together to show you how you put them into a system that then you can power from the balance tap of a LiPo battery that's on your model already and be flying FPV. So first of all, let's put the transmitter together. So we'll plug the whip and tail antenna on. We will then very simply plug the camera cable in. Now this is very obvious, it has a big flat square at one end and it will only go in one way and you'll hear it click when it's positively engaged. And the other end, which is this small little cable, again goes into the back of the camera. And again, it only goes in one way, so don't worry about pushing it in the wrong way round. There we go, that's connected. The final thing then is the power, and that fits easily into the other connector on the transmitter. And there we are, it's all together. Now the nice thing about this uh, newer version of the Fat Shark Power is that it will take, if we look at the back, 3S, 2S and 4S batteries. So what you do is you get your battery that's already on the model and you never ever power up the transmitter without a aerial installed, otherwise the transmission circuitry on the transmitter will start to fry, it needs the load there. But once you have it all connected, and what you do is you plug your balance tap into the power and then what you'll find is you'll have a solid red light at the back of the transmitter and if you take the cap off your camera it'll work great. So hopefully that's useful for those of you who are looking to get into FPV and have opened your bag of bits and not sure how it all goes together. That should make a little bit more sense. Thanks for watching, please comment and subscribe and if you have any questions or need to talk to me, my help out channel is available. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon.